get it going. I want to be the greatest energy is overflowing. I know I'm stoking the fire. My desire's taking over. Uh, not tired. I'm inspired. Rewired. I know just what is required. My brain knows how to decipher. The message is looking brighter. Already paid up the pipe, but my game is getting much tighter. I feel my body on fire. Uh, now it's game time. All the practice to prepare for this main time. I could do anything. That's my baseline. Go ahead and do you. I'ma make mine. You gon' read me in the headlines Always go up, I don't know a decline On the glow up, getting better with time Yeah, I'm about to hit my prime The air is filled up with suspense We've got our dreams we must defend Hello, everybody. Welcome to PXT, and my name is Cyclo Hunter with glasses. That's right. There's versions of me down. No, I'm joking. Uh, the point is, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PXT. Um, so we do have some breaking news. Uh, big one is apparently there was a third annihilation qualifiers. I believe we already talked about this last week. If we did not, oh, we're going to get informed again. Uh, we had announced, I believe we announced it last week. I could be wrong, so we're going to announce it again this week, just in case I didn't do it last week. But uh, we are announcing a new women's championship. That is right. The PXT Women's Intercontinental Championship. And that title will be similar to the Hardcore and the TikTok to where every week it will be defended by a new female competitor. That is right. So, just me in here right now. No problemo. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I do want to point out that it's... Yeah, viewers come in, they come in. If they don't, I mean, I understand. I sort of fucked up a little bit. But with that said, um, yes, so this title will be defended every other week. It is another championship for the women's because so far the women's championship only has one. They only have one title to go for. And if they want to, like, actually for it to grow a little bit more, you know, yeah. I don't in a wrestling show. Oh, uh, you can actually join our Discord server. It's in our actual, uh, I believe, the description of this video. Or game. Uh, you can join a Discord server, uh, give us uh, plans and ideas of your character and what you want it to be, and yeah, we'll get back to you. You can talk to, uh, I believe, Rocky or Hooded Saber on the actual server. reason I'm calling him by actual name is because, so then you can find him, because some people are. But you know, yeah, uh, pretty much we welcome you, everybody. Uh, we do have some restrictions. Again, if you want to know more info about that, uh, hit up Rocky or uh, Hooded Saber. They'll be able to hit you up when they can, because I do understand we started late today, so it's going to be hard for people to get. But with that said, um, that championship will be defended every other week for the women's division, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we also have another one to wear the crown the new Intercontinental Women's Champion. That will be happening at Annihilation as well, which means we now are going to be having Annihilation qualifying matches for the women's. That's right. Today's a full women's show besides the first and last match because more breaking news. Uh, because of last week's little bit of escapades with trying to get the syndicate their own stuff back, the War General has issued Calvin. Oh, well, not really a challenge to the Brotherhood, more like a challenge for the kid to prove that he can actually step up and hold his own. He has decided to put the kid up practically on trial, if you will. So in other words, the kid will now have to face off, apparently, from what the War General has laid claim, he wants the kid to go against one of the men that attacked Cassidy last week week so in other words tonight ladies and gentlemen it is the kid going one-on-one -on -one with one of the new members of the brotherhood now no just so then uh, new viewers can understand the brotherhood is apparently this faction i guess faction now um that is behind adonis the number one contender for the pxt united states championship adonis has that Title he gets to go for, and then in two months he gets to go against Mason once again for the PXT World Heavyweight Championship. Um, the thing, the thing that's crazy about this is that last week 
Mason attacked Adonis with the world title, showing him that that title was never going to be his, proceeded to call out the Syndicate to actually do more damage to Adonis, but nobody came out. Apparently, Satoshi and the kid were locked in the locker room. Don't know what happened exactly there, but somehow they were locked in the locker room. And then the big muscle of the Syndicate, Cassidy, was assaulted by three men who, as far as I know, we do not know who's actually involved with it. Uh, we don't know who's part of the Brotherhood, but apparently uh, they assaulted Cassidy to where he gave Adonis a shot to hit the Kienzan and then attempt for his Adonis drop, but Mason was able to get out of harm's way, and now it looks like the kid's gonna need to prove himself, because now he's going to go against one of the members of the Brotherhood. So ladies and gentlemen, to start off PXT, it is the kid against the Brotherhood, I guess. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to point out this. The kid has had a not really illustrious career here in PXT. He started off strong, but then quickly fell off the rail. He picked up a win against the current PXT champion at the time. Never got a title opportunity from it. He has been begging, well, not really begging. He's been complaining, actually, for more title opportunities to where it led him to the hands of Satoshi Makoto, the former leader of the syndicate. Now it seems like Mason's in charge. And ever since then, the Syndicate has been a, a bit off a teeter-totter, if you will. They go high up, claiming gold, but then immediately loses it. I don't like the kid. I gotta say, for the match. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't blame anybody not liking the kid, mainly because the kid has, been, has become, whoa, just like his name, a fucking kid, crying and complaining. But now the question is, who is he gonna fight? Oh. The Brotherhood. Wait, is that? Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now just, we got to explain something here because y'all guys are going to be very confused in a minute because everyone's going to be like, is that fucking Rodrigo? No, actually. <laughs> This is his, this is one of his twin brothers, Eden. Eden has been wrestling away from his brothers, trying to make a name for himself. What, what the fuck? Who made me sign that? <laughs> Eden's brother, or correctly, Rodrigo's brother, Eden. <gasps> A former member of the Brothers of Chaos, because I gotta point out, Rodrigo apparently has five brothers. They all are quadru quad quadruplets? Quadruplets? Sextuplets? I don't know. The point is, Rodrigo's brother, Eden, is in PXT and apparently is part of the Brotherhood. Oh, and Eden already starting off strong. Already dropping the kid. Oh! Big jumping clothesline from the kid to... Eden, right now, the kid trying to eat the distance. Oh, spinning splash right there from the kid. Now, no, this might be pretty big because this could put a little bit of a damper on the Brotherhood because so far, on the Brotherhood has been a little one one foot, one step ahead of the Syndicate, if you will. I had to find the right wording there, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, good back and forth, and the kid getting up. And it falls! Oh, a big power bomb right there! Is that another put? The new assignee of PXC out. No, Eden kicks out. The kid, I guess, thinking he had it. How many were there? Uh, apparently, so far, ladies and gentlemen, from what we're seeing, these might be the three. Oh, the three men that attacked Cassidy. And I think that's why the kid is going a little bit more aggressive than usual towards Eden. They took out the big mother. Oh, oh, big slap to the face from Eden to the kid. But the kid not going to allow Eden to gain the upper hand. Not a bad idea because we've seen Eden in action back in the past. Oh, he is very explosive. He can pop around nowhere, but he hits like a fucking semi. Oh, big kip up right there. And oh, stuns the kid for a little bit there. And oh, hello. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Big man jumping. The man jumping and now Eden getting the kid up and goddamn hitting him. 
Back first onto the top turnbuckle or just the turnbuckles in general. Now the Eden. Look at, oh shit. Big show of strength from Eden. I think we can see the powerhouse, but honestly, I, I don't know who that last man is at the very end, to be honest with y'all. Oh shit, a gut check right there. He didn't fire it up, the kid having to roll out. And now, big zoom. Oh my god, big fucking dive. Adonis looks like he's talking shit. He's like walking and talking. He's like, come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. <laughs> and Eden, my god, the kid, the kid is outnumbered, dude. The kid's fucking outnumbered at this point. Oh, the kid tossing Eden to barricades. Not up. Oh, and look, a big double barrel onto the outside. I want to point out right now, we're at a count of six. A count of seven. I don't know if the kid's going to try getting Eden back in or if he's just going to try to hook up everything for him. We're at a count of eight. Oh, and look at this. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess he was looking to distract the ref, but Eden was just talking shit. Was that the Brotherhood? Now I gotta take it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I just saw somebody rolling. Oh, Alco! Big fucking suplex! To the kid! Oh, shit. Oh, God. The big guy's in. The big guy's in. Right now, the kid is stunned. The guy's running the ropes and... I just saw a big man jump, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just saw a big guy just fucking jump. <laughs> was that a jumping fucking super kick? Is that what that was? The, the man apparently just hit a jumping super kick straight to the face of the kid. I don't know where the hell the syndicate's at. So right, I, right now I don't know what's going on. Oh, Eden. Apparently getting up, pretty pissed off about it. Going in, getting the kid up, and hitting him with a big Eden power bomb. Holy shit. <laughs> the dog is looking like a proud father at this point, holy shit. And right now the kid is laid to waste. But the syndicate is apparently nowhere to be found or seen. Damn. Oh, I, I usually I say congratulations to the winner, but in this case, that was a ring out count. Although I'm not giving that congratulations to the kid. The kid took the easy way out. He thought literally nothing was going to happen to him. And then immediately gets fucking obliterated by the fucking syndicate. Because right now the syndicate on, on that wall, in this case, now seems like two man down because Cassidy's out. Cassidy's out, and now fucking the kid might be out. I, I don't know how severe it was, because honestly, the power the power bomb, the boy practically fucking lifted off the goddamn air. And then, boom. So, I don't know, but so far, uh, the kid might be back. Cassidy, Cassidy, he is cleared, but we gave him a week off just for, to give him a little bit more, you know, free reign, if you will. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is now on to our qualifiers! My new tag attire, old tag attire. Talk oh yeah, that's right, your new tag attire. We gotta get that situated. Which probably be after this show. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first actual qualifier match for the Women's Annihilation match for the Women's Intercontinental Championship. And that is actually gonna be between none other than Danielle Moreno and Brie Wayne. That is our first pick for the qualifiers. Now, I also want to point out, Brie, we haven't seen a lot of her in action so far yet in PXT. Danielle, though she, this will be her PXT debut um, back in the day when we did run with MTW, no longer anymore, but she was a fucking top ass contender to look at. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is now time to see who will be the first woman to qualify for the women's annihilation match. Also, want to hope and pray that Danielle actually has some goddamn pants on. Yeah, second attire the way she didn't, okay?
making a BXC debut, ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Morito. As I said, Danielle had big success in multi-man type matches in the past. With that said, though, this is not really a first one-on-one -on -one match for her, but it's a good, like, close second to it. The reason I say that is because she did come up close on becoming a women's championship in another promotion. I will not name it once again, but she was close to becoming it. She fell short. This time around, can she become the inaugural PXT Intercontinental Women's Champion? That's an excellent question, and only time will tell because no, ladies and gentlemen, Annihilation, get ready for this, is next Monday. That is right, ladies and gents. On June 10th, PXT Annihilation will take place. Now, sadly, I will point out, we did not have the overlay set and ready. Apparently, there's been some bugs and kinks on it. So I do gotta keep on working on it. Uh, the arena is also not done. So we hopefully at the end of this week we'll have it done. If not, we'll have to really, really fucking do <laughs> bankrupt level of it. But uh, we'll see what we can do. There she is, Bree Wayne, looking to possibly go toe to toe and maybe, maybe put down Daniel Marino. The kid is out. How will I defend my titles? <laughs> Well, it looks like it might be with Satoshi and Cassidy. But no, I said we're not sure. We don't know if it's enough to take the kid out of commission. But apparently damage is dealt. <laughs> that Bree Wayne. I'm gonna look up. Make a name for herself. Gotta go toe to toe. None other than Danielle Marino. It is, here we go. And Danielle, oh, stop, what the fuck? Did Bree just, did she just fucking take a drop kick straight to the face? That was nuts. God damn. Danielle not holding anything back, holy shit, god damn. He was really not holding anything back, god damn, coming with big shots, big. Dude, Breeze getting fucked right now. Well, there it is. Breeze now looking to make a comeback here. Looking to fight back a little bit. But holy shit. He's getting a little fucked there. Got there and Moreno now has to roll out. I believe Bree was trying to go for outside dive, but then saw Daniel immediately go straight back in. Hmm. Big shot to the knee. Honestly, not a bad idea from Bree. Only reason I say that is because from what we noticed, Danielle loves her kicks. It might be enough to take her out. And now, oh, spinning headed Kanana from Bree Wayne. Digging out Moreno for possibly a moment. But no, Moreno's not going to stay down. Want to point out for everyone to understand real quick. That is right, Danielle Moreno is the daughter of Smooth Moreno. In other words, we have the whole family. We have father, mother, brother. Sister, all of them. <laughs> we have the whole Marino family at this point. Oh shit! Now, ooh, big drop kick straight to the spine of Danielle. Oh shit! Not even done there. Breeze, I think. I think trying to size up Danielle a bit. Not a bad idea, because right now Danielle's just fucking making her look like a goddamn green newbie. Holy shit! Need a grandma? Maybe! She'll come in here with a walker and she'll use it as a weapon. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Alright, and big. Oh, he's trying over a big splash again. The ref is in the way. Oh, a big knee shot straight to the fucking skull of Bree. And now Danielle looking to capitalize here. Oh, sweeps the leg. And right now Danielle is fired up. I was thinking that might be enough to drop Bree Wayne from this qualifier. No, Bree kicks out. Hip props to Bree, but god dang. Honestly, I'd be scared to continue this match with Danielle. The reason I say that is because she's, from what we've seen, she's an exceptional striker, but she can adapt super well in high 10 situations from what we've seen her in other promotions. 
Danielle is a goddamn exception here. Oh, shit. Oh, goddamn curb stomp. Do something. Do something. That's what that was. Oh. <laughs> Three still alive. Not done. Not out just yet. Oh, big stop straight to the fucking goddamn stomach of Danielle. I gotta get props. Bree is actually showing. I think, was she hitting her boob? <laughs> I'm sorry, the motion was a little off there. I think she was supposed to hit her face, but I think she hit her boob. Oh! Big power slam. Danielle trying to roll out. Oh, I don't know what Brie was going for there. Brie now getting Danielle into the turnbuckle. Oh, I think it was trying to go for another one, but Danielle gets her for an inverted DDT! And now Danielle going to the top. Is Danielle looking? Oh, she's calling her shot. Looking to drop. Bree with a missile drop kick. Uh oh. Another big knee straight to the skull of Bree Wayne. This woman's going to have a fucking concussion by the end of the night. One, two, three. And that was it. Bree reminds me of Reyes. Damn. <laughs> Just like that, Danielle Marino picks up the first win of this match and is the first woman to qualify for the Women's Annihilation match. Real quick, just gotta circle this in here, ladies and gents. Just gotta circle this in, make sure we don't forget who's in what. Goddamn, congratulations to the newest signee of PXT, Danielle Marino. But now, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we did mention last week that Alexia Jimenez and Carnell were off in Hawaii, but apparently when once Carnell heard that there was a new championship up for grabs for the women's, she talked to her bestie and was like, hey, look, I'm proud of you for having the title, but here's the thing, both of us having gold would be phenomenal. So with that said, Carnell actually made her way all the way back here to PXC just to qualify for this match, and it looks like she's going to be having a fight. For her, because here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, our second match for the women's qualifiers is none other than Julia Justice. So it's Julia Justice against Carnell, who will qualify for the women's annihilation match. Let's find out. Now I want to point out, ladies and gentlemen, we have not seen a lot of action from Julia Justice. This is actually her PXT PXT debut. She originally debuted at Bond, but this is her first time competing here in PXT. Now, she made her and Maggie Anderson fucking went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the Bond match. They were going back and forth. Julia literally surprised everyone. Now, don't be wrong, she came up short. But with that said, can tonight still possibly set her up for stardom? Like the fastest fucking rising star in PXT. Or can, hell, maybe Danielle do what her daddy did and become the fastest rising star in PXT. But this time, for the women's. I don't know, only time will tell, but right now I can say this. Julia going against Cornell is going to be freaking nuts, ladies and gentlemen. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Cornell coming back from a small vacay in Hawaii. She was there with her bestie, uh, the PXT Women's Champion, Alexia Jimenez, to where they were just riding high off a long, free month of not defending her championship. But once Cornell heard that there is another piece of gold in view of her target, if that even makes any fucking sense of what I said, she's gonna jump at it real fucking quick. Now it is Carnell going toe to toe with Justice. I'm actually excited to see how this goes because Julia is exceptional in the ring. Carnell has actually picked up a little bit. Also, I want to point out, I do apologize if the stream is laggy as fuck. It is late at night. The internet was always sucky late at night. So I do want to point out, we are editing the video down. It will be clear on the edits. Also, we'll give a little announcement on the edited versions of PXT soon. Oh shit, Julia, okay. 
Julia already looking to go high risk maneuver here. Oh, but misses. God damn, I think Cornell and Jimenez are more than friends from Emily. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, are you implying that Cornell, Cornel I can confirm Cornell is actually not into women. <laughs> Well, to be honest with you, she might be asexual now thinking about it, because she, she's not really interested in women nor men. I don't know, maybe. Oh shit, big clothesline right there. Cardell having justice on the outside. Julia, though, rolling back in. Oh, gain the advantage, but Cardell's not going to allow it and throws Julia Justice onto the outside. And right now, Cardell gaining the upper hand. Oh, there it is, but Julia Justice not going to allow it. This is the fight I was talking about. Between her and Maggie Anderson, that is the fight I was talking about with Julia Justice. She knows how to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and she knows how to... Even the odds, even if the playing field seems out of her court. Oh, God, now just attacking the back. And continues... God damn. Continuing with the assault, looking to just dismember Carnell. Carnell... So far, it has not lost after operation, but the hell, who knows? Oh, that's a lie. She did lose an operation, but after operation. Been on a little bit of a roll. Justice trying to get Cornell back into the ring. He's back in. Oh, and a big, oh, springboard forearm straight to the face of Cornell and thinking that's another putter out of commission. It is one, two, no, doesn't get it, Cornell. Kicks out. Seven months ago, I joined PXT. Honestly, that is fucking nuts how a lot of people have stayed in PXT. Because <laughs> I, I did not picture PXT going as far as we have. Especially even going getting to Annihilation. Ooh, goddamn. Big lift up punch straight to the skull. Thinking that's another put. Justice out of commission. No, Justice kicks out. Oh, and Justice staring at Cornell. Thinking that's... Thinking that will be enough. Oh, but gives her own springboard forearm straight to the skull. Uh oh, oh! trying to go for a ripcord clothesline. Doesn't get it. Justice now trying to get Cornell up. Gets her up and drops her for a snake eyes into the corner. And immediately goes for the pin. Is that enough? One. No. Cornell kicks out immediately at one. Justice is going to try a lot more to take out someone like Cornell. Cornell has been exceptional out from some of the past weeks. Now, with that said, though, can she capitalize on becoming... Oh! A qualifier for the Annihilations match for the women's. Can she do it? Oh, Cornell, you're really going to the outside and connects. Big outside dive. High risk, high maneuver from Cornell. And now, I will say this. This match is very back and forth compared both to both women's. Oh, misses the big kick. And now, Justice. Oh, uh, going over the... Oh, Justice Bomb. I believe that's the name of the move. I don't know if that was actually... A Finishing maneuver. Oh, but ju oh, justice! I will, I will point out. Yes, a count of victory will count for this qualifier. We are at a count of six. Is justice gonna take this type of win? Count of seven. Carnell's up. Carnell's back in the ring. Oh, now throw him to the ropes, and Justice, oh, Justice was trying to go for a punch. He was trying to go for originally a spear. I don't know why she stopped herself. Oh, Cornell now. Again, still losing on control here. Oh! Okay, doesn't get all of it. Gets enough. Is that not the dropper out of this match? One! No, Justice kicks out. It's crazy, though. Some of my matches had some, so many odds, like Menace. Ooh, no. <laughs> Oh, Justice throwing to the ropes. Uh oh, that was something big, but Julia not gonna allow it. Not gonna allow the Cornell to go crazy here. Gets Cornell out. Big power slam. Think that's enough to put Cornell out, is it? One. No, again, another one count. God damn. Justice, I think, getting frustrated now. Cornell, though, not letting her emotions. Big advantage, and now gets it, gets a close, oh, it's trying to get a fucking chokehold there, I was going to say clothesline for some reason, stupid, 
Now throws to the ropes, and oh, Cornell missing the blaze kick, I believe. Still feeling the win. Oh, gets caught in a running knee. I think that's it. I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. One, two, no. Cornell still kicks out. Holy shit. Dude, I got to get props to Cornell. She has majorly improved since her actual debut in PXT. But now the question is, can she put down... Oh! Justice, or hell, can Justice put down Cornell? Because just that knee shot, Cornell immediately gets up. I don't know if it's an adrenaline or what. Oh, there it is. Cornell still fighting back. Now going to allow it. And now screen one. Oh, four. I'm straight to the face of Julia Justice. Thinking that's enough to put her out of commission, is it? Here it is. One. No one gets a one count. Still nothing. Cornell getting the advantage, though. Julia. Oh, Julia was trying to go for a big fucking shot straight to the gut. Oh, does it get it? And now. Oh, shining dragon from Cornell. One. Two. No. Justice kicks out. Oh, but Julia Justice not done. Oh, goddamn, Julia might be fucking. She might be done with it. She might be over Cornell. Cornell getting up. Oh, big form straight to the face. And now another knee shot straight to the skull of Cornell. Cornell still not, still not staying completely down. Oh my god. And just as I think now, showing frustration, and again, another knee shot straight to the skull of Cornell. And again, Cornell's not fucking staying down. <laughs> oh, there it is. Cornell's finally done with the payback. Finally done with it. Finally done with it, and now sends her. Who opens it now? Oh, who's trying to go for a place kick? Didn't get it, Justice reverses. Justice reverses the blaze kick. This might be terrible news for Carnell. Gets lift up and now a boom! Oh, total knee shot. There it is. One, two, no! Carnell kicks out. Holy shit, Carnell, Julia Justice, so far, fucking tearing the house down. Holy shit. Julia Justice going for a boom! Big upside dive. It connects with it. It's like, it's like Marino says in the chat, PXT, PXT, oh, big jump knee lift. Oh, Cornell immediately gets back in the ring. Cornell talking that smack, and out of the springboard form. This is enough to put her out of commission. Is it enough? No, Justice refusing to give up. Justice refusing to end this year. Refusing to let it end. And now comes in with the palm strikes. Justice. No, again, Cornell. Cornell really refusing to stay down. Oh, big. Heel kick there. Can ju no, Cor <laughs> Justice, I guess, trying to set up something. I don't know what she's trying to set up, but she's trying to keep Cornell out of commission, down and out. No, Cornell, just... <laughs> I'm assuming that's what's happening. I'm assuming Justice is trying to do something. Cornell's just refusing at this point. Now comes in with a series of strikes and a big uppercut. Oh, my God, is that enough? Is that actually enough? One, two. Oh, my God, the uppercut to drop Justice. Oh my god. Cornell just channeled the inner dragon, which is like, caca, 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 it's a bit. That's what happened. <laughs> I have no explanation for that. That's, just, that's the best way I can explain it. Just the whole, da -da, da -da, da -da. death, bitch, go. That's all that was. That shit was cool. That was actually a cool little secret there. God damn, it was enough to drop fucking justice. Holy shit, Cornell picking up a huge win, but holy shit, dude. Justice and Cornell were tearing the fucking house house down that's right ladies and gentlemen you want to join the women's division of pxt or you guys have a female that you want in this fucking thing fucking join our discord server we'll fucking get you situated because holy fuck that that was the women bringing in s tier matches this is proving that they they deserve a spot in pxt
indefinitely, and that's what this title is gonna fucking do now, because that means every week there will be a women's match, because as of late, not gonna lie to y'all, we have been feeling, or correction, I've been feeling bad, because the other guys, we sort of forget about it. Because <laughs> uh, since the women only have one title to go for, it sort of left them in a little bit of a to <laughs> where they didn't really compete a lot because there's only one title. So that's why we decided to make the PXD Intercontinental, because the women will always have a match every week for PXC. And we are excited to see who gets a shot at it. Personally, I think Julia would be a perfect ass choice uh, for like the first opportunity for it. But because it is going to be randomized, uh, we'll see what happens with it. Because uh, who knows? We're probably going to think about making another uh, championship for the women's. Uh, it's still up in the air. But uh, hell, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we actually have um, a decision maker here. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, both these women have gone toe to toe with each other in their career. Twice, actually, in PXT. Uh, first was actually not a debut, but it was a surprise match to where none other than uh, one of them making a debut. Oh, no, one of them made a debut, squashed, squashed somebody, completely destroyed her. And then. We'll see the next week to get a match against that woman when she was champion. And they competed again before we switched to 2K24 to where she picked up a win off that champion at the time. Which means this is the rubber band match between both these women. Also, I want to point out, Faith decided these matches. When I say fate, is because we use a dice to decide who was going to compete with each other tonight. Or not really, we didn't use a dice, I'm sorry. We hit the randomizer and that these two women are what was chosen. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see who actually would win more times in a best out of three. Because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Caitlin Moreno or Moreno, sorry, going one-on-one -on -one with Ava Moreno. I'm going to just call them Caitlyn and Ava because holy fuck, <laughs> I'm going to fuck up these names. <laughs> but this, both these women have a pin off each other, one pin off each other. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, that does mean we're going to see who gets the rubber band match win here. <laughs> I'm actually excited about this. Here we go. Caitlin going against Ava. Let's see what happens. Moreno, Moreno. Let's see what happens. Women scare me. What the fuck? You're supposed to be in a, you're supposed to be in a sex identity of PXT. What the fuck? You're, supposed to, you're not supposed to be scared of women. You're supposed to make them fear you. I'm joking. Don't do that. Say that dream. Oh no, fuck that. <laughs> Dude, I, I would fuck that up so fast. Kaylin Moreno. Uh, Ava Moreno. Kaylin Moreno. Ava Moreno. Kaylin Moreno. Ava Moreno. Oh fuck. No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even saying it fast. That's like medium speed at best. Here it is. Kaylin. Set and ready. Former MMA women's champion. Or in this case, UFC Women's Champion, if we are going to be completely accurate about this. She has yet to hold BXC Women Gold, but here's the thing, I also got to point this out here. If she wins tonight, that means she's going to also have to fight against her own daughter in the Annihilation match. <laughs> Which, that's going to be fucking nuts! Now that I said, former PXT Women's Champion, and want to point out, the longest reigning PXT Women's Champion, actually. She held a championship for three months, and holy crap, she was almost undefeated for the longest goddamn time. She was by far the most dominant Women's Champion we've ever had in PXT. So far, because right now, Jimenez, <laughs> Jimenez pretty much got one person just fully kicked out of here. Uh, that's right. Uh, from what we understand, um, her opponent at Bond, uh, actually, that was her last match in general. That's right. It, it was it was so brutal that it actually uh, retired them. Which, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, is pretty fucking nuts. 
Now, why do I not name them? Is because they will no longer be associated with PXT. Here it is. We have Moreno going against Moreno. Here we go. Oh, Ava coming in with a big... The first shot to the match. I, the thing is with Ava, I feel like she knows, dude. I feel like she knows. Oh, boxing, bro? Oh, was she boxing? Oh, I thought she was UFC as well. Fuck, I fucked up. My bad. <laughs> well, we're boxing champion. My bad, y'all. I assumed MMA because the... Uh, what was it? When she first debuted, she was like doing a lot of kicks and stuff. That's why I was like, MMA. Oh, shit. God damn, Ava. God damn, Ava. God damn, Ava! I guess Ava's not happy with the whole, like, rubber band match idea. And God, God damn! Ava, come down! I think Ava's still a little pissed off that, one, she did not get her rematch against Jimenez. And apparently won't get it for a while because uh, a lot of contenderships is already happening. But with that said, one thing can happen here. Well, of course, I got to teach her something. Nah, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> What else do you teach her? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, but uh, back to the actual thing. Here, here's the thing. I think the other reason why... Oh, Ava's going hardcore in this because suddenly Ava can make history here. She'll be the first ever PXT woman to hold both women's championships. So technically for the women's division, it would be considered a Grand Slam. Until another championship would present itself. But for now, if Ava wins and qualifies for Annihilation, she'll be fighting for the first ever Women's Grand Slam opportunity. For now. <laughs> oh, God. I know right now, Ava. God damn, Ava. God damn, Ava. You know what it is? Ava knows that Caitlyn packs a punch, and she knows not to give her any time to actually... She's noting to never give her a moment. Never give... Caitlyn a moment because she will take advantage and she will drop her immediately. And this is what I was talking about. She gave her a moment there and Caitlyn knew to capitalize. Oh, this is the big clothesline. It's mainly because I think the height difference is what's saying Ava. Oh, missed this. It's the spinning heel kick. And now Caitlyn taking advantage of it. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, God. What went face buster? I don't know what the fuck we call that. Holy shit. One, two. No, not enough to drop Ava down. Oh, Ava is trying to roll out. Caitlyn's like, nah, bitch. Stay in here. Stay in here. I gotta make you pay. Caitlyn, I, a woman. Oh, misses the big boo. But not allowing Ava to capitalize from that mistake. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> Ava coming in with the reversals. Holy shit. Kaylin already mixing two big fucking kicked opportunities there. Possibly enough to drop it out of commission at all. Oh, oh my god. That was Ava's bitch knee. That's what that was. God. Okay, I'm not going to lie to y'all. This was a bit of a squash. I will not lie to y'all. This was a tiny bit of a squash. Mainly because Moreno. Dude, Moreno just did not hold back. Holy fuck. Where was that against Jimenez? <laughs> Who is that against your men as a fucking operation? Holy shit, dude. I'm sorry to say, that was a squash match. That was genuinely a squash match. Holy shit. Ava not holding anything back. Just proceeds to full-on decimate Caitlyn Moreno. And I guess we know who wins the rubber band now. Holy fuck. <laughs> I need a moment. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! I'm sorry, that was a, that was legit a full-on squash. Oh my god, that is nuts! Ah oh man, that, that's crazy. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now on to our, our fourth qualifier for tonight. That is right, we are still doing the qualifiers, and uh, I also want to point out we do have some uh, more reported words to wear. Satoshi uh, uh, apparently got some word in about the kid. The kid. It will be medically cleared. He he is fucked up a little bit, but he should be medically cleared for next week's annihilation. So in other words, it is still Satoshi and the kid going toe to toe against the Jeffries for the PXC Tag Team Championships. But we even got more word that Mason again 
has not been happy with what the syndicate has been doing and now has issued another challenge to the so-called brotherhood so now ladies and gentlemen it looks like mason is not going to be actually going in here he wants the syndicate to step up and he believes the perfect example for both cassidy and the kid to start stepping the fuck up is if satoshi starts stepping the fuck up so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Satoshi will be going against another member against the Brotherhood. Now, I, it might be the big fucker. Uh, I, again, I haven't gotten any word on who the fuck that is, but holy fuck. Also, I want to point out, because I feel like we missed this a little bit, Abkul actually just made his return as well. <laughs> I just realized we completely missed that. <laughs> Yo, Electro, stop hiding. And honestly, Electro's just out. <laughs> he's, he's not like out and injured. He's, he's just played about. Uh, cause he's not having any tile opportunities, so he's like, eh, fuck it, I'm just taking a break. <laughs> and that's, that's literally what he said, and that's, uh, we just went ahead and okayed it. Mainly cause, he has a point, he's not really doing anything. <laughs> we were like, well, he's like, alright, what you got for me? Ah! Uh. <laughs> so, Electro is out of commission, but I do want to point out, uh, Smooth, uh, he might be ready if you lose the what's it called match this thing you still have a title opportunity you're in an annihilation match so just saying you you got you got you're gonna be in a buffet room <laughs> but with that said ladies and gentlemen um we're not done just yet because our next match is actually against a new up-and-comer that literally just hopped the barricade to fucking accept an open challenge against a former uh, pxd women's competitor maggie anderson looking to possibly be another contender for that annihilation match but the thing is she now is going to be going against a former world champion or correction a former women's world champion because it is none other than maggie anderson going one-on-one -on -one against sarah fox here tonight on pxt Now again, I do want to point out, again, I do apologize if the stream is going to dog shit. It is mainly because at late at night, the stream usually goes to dog shit because everyone's at home, they're all watching stuff. So that's why we usually do it at 5, but I had a lot of errands to run, I was late. But with that said, we are going to be able to do this down, and we will be seeing it happen later on the road. Uh, we'll get more into detail with that later. But right now, Maggie has it coming in with her own Maggie Buddies! For some reason, they're stiff as hell. <laughs> that one's a little lopsided. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they fucking get like that. It's so funny. But either way, Maggie Addison fucking making an impact here in PXT so far. And not just that, setting a bar of how to fucking fight here in PXT. Because hell, she was one of the last remaining teams in the bond match. Don't get me wrong, she was going 1v2. It took a lot to drop her out of this, or out of that match. But she is a fighter nonetheless. Now with that said, she is going to get a former women's world champion. reason I say former is because it is part of a promotion we don't do no more. But with that said, that woman never lost the championship. So... <laughs> So, again, with that said, ladies and gents, Sarah Fox makes her PXT debut. And yes, I do say PXT debut is because she did actually fight an operation. She, I don't believe, has fought yet here in PXT. I could be wrong on that. But as far as I know, she has not fought here in PXT, so this is actually her debut. If I am wrong and y'all want to fact check me, go ahead. Please do it, because holy fuck, I'm okay if I'm wrong. Watching from back, watching from home, much better than being in backstage. Fair point. <laughs> Especially right now, Drew, because it's, it's full of women. Here it is. New upper cover, Maggie Anson, going against Sarah Fox, former world champion. Let's see what happens here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was thinking we wanted to go. Oh, no, high up. Maggie, though, stopping her. Oh, but Sarah not holding anything back. Now, I gotta po point out something, too. Sarah not only was a former women's world champion, she was also the inaugural women's champion of that promotion at the time. So, with that said, never losing it, being the inaugural, 
and hell, being a hell of a fighter as well, Maggie's gonna need to really pull out everything she got if she wants a chance at beating someone like Sarah Fox. And I mean that, because Sarah, Sarah's a bit of a menace. Oh, oh god damn. New maneuver from Sarah. But this is what I'm talking about. Sarah, though, knows how to compete and now comes in with the shots. Just disrespecting Maggie right now. Maggie's up, but now again, Sarah just coming in with a strut. My god. Maggie needs to get out of that corner, dude. Maggie needs to get out of that corner. Because right now, Sarah is just, god damn, cornering her and not giving her a moment at all. Holy shit. I think that's what it is right now. It's it's that Fox is a former champion. She knows what she needs to do. She knows how to stay focused for that championship gold. You want a tournament to become the inaugural World Women's Champion for that promotion at the time. And hell, she never lost it. She actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Danielle Marino. And hell, Danielle and her went to fucking hell and back for that match. Oh, there it is, Big DDZ. No, only gets a one count off the former women's world champ. Oh, shit. Misses. Oh, big punch right there. Oh, gets her with a big kick. And oh, a second kick straight to the skull of Maggie Anderson. Is that another dropper? One, two. That was a double check. That's what that was. And now, Fox looking to go for it. Oh, that was a Fox's pounce right there. One. Two! No! Doesn't get it! Man, that was a flying fox right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now comes in with another springboard! Oh my god! Holy shit, proceeds to drop Maggie Anderson! Holy mother of god! Very impressed. Sarah Fox not holding anything back. Anderson has yet to do anything. There it is. Now Anderson probably coming in with some fight left in her. Oh no, <laughs> fucking Fox not holding anything back, dude. Oh, Fox missing a big right. Oh, but not letting it, oh no. Was not gonna let it take advantage, but Anderson think is, is probably saying now that this is enough. She needs to step up. She needs to come back at it. Goes under, goes over. Oh, dropping the former world champ down. And right now, Anderson looking to capitalize with her short strength. Oh, big power driver dropping Fox. The ground, rubbing to the ground, but here's the thing, Fox is not taking a lot of damage, Fox has shown exceptional strikes, and oh, now, oh, both women just proceeding to beat the living shit out of each other, oh shit, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna try a lot more, oh shit, a lot more to win that, Anderson, so far showing that she's an exceptional striker and proceeds to dismantle Magus or Anderson as much as possible. Holy shit, dude! I'm more, I'm so shocked at how much fucking Fox is just destroying Anderson at this point right now. Now comes in for another. Oh, shooting Fox! That's what that was. That was a shooting Fox. Is that not the dropper? Goes with a pin. Here it is. One, two. Three, and Sarah Fox picks up the win. Another squash match, I want to point out. I'm sorry, dude. Maggie. Maggie really underestimated Sarah Fox. Holy shit, dude. Sarah dismantles the powerhouse Maggie Anderson. Holy shit. That was generally nuts. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. That was generally nuts. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Dude, that was nuts. Oh my god. That's crazy. Alright, well with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are now going to be going on to our next qualifiers. We have to... No, I want to point out that this show is going to be very short tonight because uh, we only, it's a lot of qualifiers. Not really a lot of stuff that we got set up with it. Um, mainly because we did feel like the women should get a qualifying thing as well instead of it just being random you're in we didn't feel like it was fair so we decided to give everybody like an actual shot for it so that's why today's show will probably be maybe the shortest we do for people just a heads up there moment that said ladies and gentlemen it is now on to our next match now we want to point out we this match we did choose two women and one of them we chose because holy shit she really impressed and surprised everyone in last week by literally dismantling the new Emily. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than V going toe to toe against someone that I'm actually not sure if they're gonna actually continue with PXT. Not not because they're like bad. It's mainly because I'm concerned about their health. Because the, last last year they were they were like you know pretty pretty well pretty pretty good. Out of nowhere, uh, they're anorexic. Yeah, yeah. So, in other words, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than none other than V going against Catherine Jackson tonight, ladies and gents. But honestly, I think I gotta send Catherine to a doctor. I'm sorry. Because, like I said, she, she was completely healthy at the time. Now she's like, eh, I'm a little concerned. He honestly making a splash in her in ring debut, literally going toe to toe with almost everybody. Well, not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody, but going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Emily and actually dropping her on the hard. Where now we have decided to give her a title opportunity because we think, and who knows, maybe she can maybe she can surprise everyone here in PXT and become the inaugural PXT Women's Intercontinental Champion. But now the question is, can she go against someone like Katherine Jackson? Which, no, again... We might have to check this stuff. Because uh, I do believe Catherine uh, does have a bit of a meh moveset. So we do got to look at it um, again because I don't know. Oh, these movesets are passing, Cyclone. What the fuck, man? You're not doing your job? I mean, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> look, it's called I put trust in the people that uh, I assume would not do that type of stuff. And uh, they, they, uh, they, they, yeah. But yes, uh, if anybody remembers Miss Catherine Jackson, she was a lot more, um, not anorexic. Now she is very anorexic. Reason to explain what anorexic is, uh, pretty much it's sort of like an eating deficiency to where, um, you're pretty much not really eating healthily. Uh, and that's why I say that with her is because she was a lot more like, I guess, beat, I guess you could say, like, she, she wasn't as, you know, as I said, uh, pencil thin as she was last year. So that's why I'm a little concerned. I don't know. See, that's what I'm saying. She she wasn't she wasn't that small. Now she is a big running clothesline right there. Catherine starting off small. Oh, I said it started off small. Heh, <laughs> strong. What the fuck was that? I just did. Yeah. Whoa. Guys, calm down. I'm just gonna have to do a lot, but right now V look at come out. Oh god damn! Oh god damn! The carry away fucking sidewalk slam right there. This is what I'm talking about though. V actually surprising everyone here. Oh, scratching the back of Catherine Jack and proceeds to do it again. We're gonna get a third one. No, Catherine not gonna allow her to capitalize on that. Catherine looking to come back at it. Again, still a little concerned on Catherine. I think we gotta actually send her to a doctor. As uh, yeah, I I just don't feel like it's healthy for her. She, she was a lot bigger, all that, then out of nowhere, she's anorexic, not a good idea. Big punches there, and now ups it down, and oh, a big senton! Play to the back, though, honestly, I don't know how much damage it does. Usually with senton, it works more well when you uh, have a little bit more, you know, thing on your bones. And yes, I will continue doing this death fixer. Oh, she's the dropper down, and now, oh! I don't know what to call that, but cool. Here it is. One, two. I will proceed to talk shit about this character mainly because I don't know why he makes him like that. I'm assuming it's something similar to Dragon Ball. Because Dragon Ball, I know there's an actual like weight advantage thing. So who knows? Maybe that's why he does it. I don't know. But it just feels weird to do that with Jackson because he did it with, uh, I forgot what's her name, Rachel Jade. She was something similar. Now Catherine being, Catherine sending V to the side and tries to go for another senton, doesn't get it. Again, I, I don't know why she's going for sentons. It doesn't look like it would hurt at all. 
If anything, it feels like it'd be a pillow. Ooh. Oh! Drops the knee. Catherine, pretty pissed off that I keep calling her out on the on the eating deficiency that she got. I will keep on doing it until she actually looks to get help. Now, count of six. Looks like Catherine's probably looking to claim the ring out count victory. Count of eight. V needs to come back in. V coming back in now. And the Catherine to the ropes. Goes under. Goes over. And now, oh, god damn. Spinning heart stopper. I don't know what to call that exactly, but god damn. Oh. I don't know. We just, eh. <laughs> it just seems like she flies a little bit too long. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> like, not not in a normal way. It just, it just feels like she's actually light. That's why I, I don't get why she keeps doing sentons. It just doesn't look like it does anything. <laughs> oh, and now we gotta talk about that maneuver because that belongs to somebody. Death. We gotta talk about certain character. Oh, oh, big maneuver there! Holy shit! Now we see the pin. Catherine Jackson is that another dropper out of commission? No, Catherine kicks out. Ooh, that was a cake drop! Holy fuck! Oh my god, it killed, look, 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 I was gonna say it killed Captain. She was like, uh. <laughs> That's how every man wants to die. That cake dropping from the middle rope. Does she have like a vice on her right now? I say, yeah, it's not gonna do anything on the outside. And now it's under the ropes, and again, I get, to be fair, I still feel like it doesn't do anything to her. It's, it's mainly because she's so goddamn small. I just don't feel like the senton does anything for Catherine. Now, if it's a top rope, then yeah, it'll probably hurt, like, a tiny bit. Oh, now proceeds to go for the pin on V. He's down to put her out of commission. One, two, no, V still fighting. Now goes in for another. Oh, springboard moonsaw! Holy shit! And now she's going for another one. Oh, back to back. Oh, Catherine. Oh, misses it. Oh, Catherine now looking the drop V here. Oh, now fired up. Catherine looking to rally. Catherine going to the top. Is Catherine going to be able to connect with? There you see. Now, now it looks like it hurt a little bit. Now it looks like it hurt a little bit. One. Two. No. Still. I told you. It doesn't look like it hurts. <laughs> Catherine, you got to put more meat on those bones. <laughs> Generally, you got to put more meat on those bones for it to work. And now trying to go in for another. Probably back. For, oh, misses it once again. Oh, V possibly looking to drop Catherine, but here's the thing. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say she's trying to go for visual. Hold, that wasn't going to be it. I really don't know what to call that, but that might be it. Oh, Catherine might be putting down V with a bow. No, I looked a little me. One, two. No, V! Oh shit, V still kicks out! What the fuck? Oh shit! V still going! I'm, I'm actually surprised. I thought Death's uh, cheap ass shit would win. <laughs> Look, Death, let's be honest here. You do got some cheap stuff. <laughs> oh, misses. V still fighting out of it. Still fighting, still. Oh, die allowing Captain to take advantage. Oh, goddamn! Big kick straight to the face, and now, oh, jawbreaker. Bump her out. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I bet me is going for V, not because of the broken moose but because, look, man, she's actually doing pretty good. It would actually be cool to see her go through. That kind of five. Oh, got a six.
Oh, V wants to end this clean. She doesn't want to ring out. V does not want to ring out victory. V does not want to ring out, but Jackson not going to hold off. Jackson going to be fighting. Oh, and another running Huracarana from Miss Jackson. I'm going to seize the attack. The hand of V. Can V pick up the win here? Oh, drops her down. God damn, god damn, Miss Jackson, shit. Is Jackson not? Oh, misses that sense on. Oh, oh, this is the maneuver. Now Jackson. Oh, I, I don't know what happened there. For some reason, she was stunned. One, two, three. All right, well, no, we do got to view Miss Jackson mainly because uh, one, I believe the body type might be an advantage, mainly because I played fighting games in the past and usually the body type is an advantage. But in other words, death, she needs to get buffed with the fatty stuff because the uh, reason I say that is because I do feel like it is for an advantage reason and I don't like it. Oh, he did it with another character uh, called Rachel Jade, so that's why I, find, I found it a little fishy. So just in case, we're going to buff her a little bit. That's right. But with that said, uh, we're going on to our next qualifiers. It is none other than Kalia Dorsey going one on one against Emma Reyes. That's right. We're going to see who will be the last woman to qualify for the women's annihilation match. And then after that, it is our main event. Holy shit! That's it, everyone. 79 views. Holy crap. Well, thank you all for coming on in. If you guys are watching now, I do apologize if the stream is laggy as fuck. Uh, we are going to be editing this video down uh, later down the road. The reason I'm saying later down the road is because uh, I'm going to actually get into this now because um, I won't lie to y'all. <laughs> uh, we do make some mid or droppers, I guess you will. And uh, these are two of them. So they probably get a shot here. But with that said, um, so what we're going to be planning on doing now, uh, we're going to be planning on probably setting up the videos instead of dropping all in one day, we're going to drop them weekly as well. Uh, so in other words, 34, 35, 36 is not done, but 34 and 35 are ready, but I'm going to set them up for next Monday. So next Monday, 34 will come out. And then the Monday after that will be 35, and they'll be going forward with that. Just so then we're always ahead, and there's always a video to drop for you guys. So in other words, we are doing it like how the Hulu stuff does it. In this case, it will be a good, I want to say, three weeks behind. Uh, I do apologize about that for us doing it like that. It's just mainly, in all honesty, it's probably the easier way for us to do it. So then it always gives you guys content, it always stays consistent, and then in the case we ever do miss PXT for one week, uh, there is a video to drop for y'all guys. So y'all guys are never out of content. So, heads up there, wanna give you guys a little heads up on that. Uh, we're gonna be starting that next Monday uh, on Annihilation. So, uh, yeah! Now with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Kalia Dorsey, honestly, I don't know anything about her besides her debut at Bond. <laughs> That is all I know. Some people may say she looks very similar to Brie. <laughs> to Brie Wayne. Now, Brie didn't get a shot uh, earlier tonight against Daniel Moreno uh, to qualify for the women's championship match or women's annihilation match. So, this could be a big one for Dorsey here. That or a big one for Reyes, because this thing, Emma has actually really shocked the world uh, uh, these past couple months. Oh, she became number one contender for a uh, world title where Sarah Fox and her would have competed against each other, but when we never got to see it, so we never got to see the actual outcome of it. Um, hell, she actually did become number one contender for the PXT Women's Championship against Ava Moreno at Bankrupt. Literally, almost thought she had it. Literally, I almost thought she had the championship in her grasp. But she came up short, and then ever since then, she just proceeded to drop and drop and drop. And you hate to see it, but who knows? Maybe maybe Emma can turn it around here tonight. Maybe she can turn it around and possibly become the inaugural Intercontinental Women's Champion. Hard to say, but who knows? It's possible. 
Now that said, uh, Kalia Dorsey also making her debut at Bond. I believe she made a debut in PXT. I don't remember exactly, but if she didn't, uh, help. She's making it right now, and so far, she's actually doing pretty well. She showed exceptional skill in the Bond match. Did come up short a little bit, sadly. She, her team did not pick up the victory there. Um, but who knows, baby? This could kickstart his career as well. Right now, Emma sending see to the ropes. Oh, Emma going under. And now, oh, oh trying to save the legs. Dorsey apparently catching herself and proceeds to punch the shit out of Emma for trying to do that and now emma onto the outside and dorsey following straight after not gonna look to capitalize or give her a moment to attempt to capitalize here tonight oh now proceeds to chop away honestly i won't lie to you the pants and yellow combos on her boots and her top are really annoying me now <laughs> I thought, oh shit oh my oh shit oh okay, god big spear oh fuck oh god Holy shit, that was like a piston spear. Doesn't drop Emma though. Emma's still going, still kicking. Right now. Let's see. Oh god damn! Oh, does it? Apparently Emma's still going. Oh, catches it with a Herakonana. Oh and now Emma looking. The comeback at it. And that looks to rally here tonight. Can Emma put down Dorsey? Can she qualify for the Annihilation match? Oh, shit. That was a bitch kick right there. That's what that was, ladies and gents. And now Emma going to the top. What's Emma planning for? Emma. Oh, oh shit. That would have been sick. That generally would have been a sick-ass elbow. A 360 elbow. Holy shit. Misses it though. Oh, and Dorsey missing her big maneuver now. Oh, Dorsey looking to get Emma into the corner. Emma though, not going to allow her to capitalize either. And now Emma creating the back, the advantage, sends Dorsey to the ropes. Dorsey, new up and comer, going against, uh, I guess in this case, semi vet Emma Reyes. Emma's been with us, I believe, since December. She was the first ever PXC women signee. My God, but she's the punch the living shit out of her. Emma's going to town, just full on dropping Dorsey, and now proceeds to fucking just get frustrated. Fucking got him by the head and just throwing it back down onto the mat. And Emma, not allowing Dorsey to gain an upper hand, sends her rolling, and now. Dorsey onto the outside. Emma, I, her woman. I don't know why she's in the corner for it, but it looks like she's looking for a high risk maneuver and connects on Dorsey. Mm. Right now, Emma's capitalizing, trying to. Oh my god. Oh! Grabbing her head and fucking pulling it so then she can drop her face first onto the mat and now sweeps the leg. Right now, Emma's taking advantage of the outside area. Ember ceased to punish Dorsey. I believe tried to go for a fucking submission hole on the outside. I don't know what that would have done. Oh, wait, Emma's going for something like that. Oh, now Emma being tossed to the side. I believe we might see another ring out count here, ladies and gents. And a count of six. Dorsey apparently wanted to end this fair and square. Every other match has been won by pinfall. No ring out counts. Dorsey wants to continue keeping up that little record for the women's division here. And now, oh, proceeds to attack the arm. Reyes got her down, not gets her in a small arm bar. We're going to probably make Emma Reyes tap out here. Does not get her to tap, though. Oh, Dorsey getting Reyes up. And now looking to get her into... The turnbuckle. Oh, Emma stopping any offense going. Oh, shit. A full on spinning heel kick. Is that it? One, two. No. Wow. Dorsey kicks out. God damn, dude. That was sick, though. That was a sick ass spin kick from Reyes. Holy shit. That was a spinning heel kick. It was the. Oh, Gets her with a big running knee lift. Is that it? And no, we might have to ban that fucking move. 
No, Reyes kicks out. Holy shit. No, no. Reason I say that is mainly because everybody fucking has it. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. A lot of people have that fucking trick knee shot, dude. It is like, dude, stop. It's not. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's probably a fucking beast to hit, but I don't know. It's just, uh, it's. It, I just can't believe that's a fucking finisher. Oh. Reyes looks to win. Looks to be winning the exchange here. Why now? Reyes and Dorsey going toe to toe and Reyes winning the exchange. Going back and forth and Reyes now looks to be. No, okay, I think she was going to the outside. Does Well, she's on the outside, but not taking advantage of anything. Oh, wait, sweeping the leg of Dorsey and drags her to the outside. Goddamn, it really hurts to keep on seeing that fucking zero, dude. Ugh. Because, like I said, originally I was supposed to do this at 5. The internet's a lot better at 5. No one's on their shit at 5. Everyone's on their shit around this time, so it was like, ugh. Big fucking suplex from Dorsey to Reyes. And right now, Dorsey going back in the ring, probably looking to say fucking and gain the outside victory. Is Dorsey? No way. Dorsey's going to the top. Dorsey's going to the top rope. What's she planning on? Big gold double hand axle. Dorsey was contemplating on accepting that win, but she's saying screw it. She wants to win exactly like every other woman here did. There's not going to be a ring out count. She wants to make it a damn definition that she earned her damn spot. Oh, a leg DDT. Can Dorsey put down Emma Reyes? Ooh. Backing her knee first straight to the face. Oh, Dorsey, getting, oh, goddamn, gets her up for a suplex, but drops her over the top rope, gut first, holy shit, Dorsey now sending Reyes to the, oh, to the rope, and gets her with a knee lift, and also want to point out, that move is gonna fucking be banned, by banned, I mean it's all my fucking franchise, so that move's gonna have to change, ah, yes, we are starting to do this now. Why? Because if everyone starts using it, it's just a fucking thing. That or we start saying that she's banging franchise. One or the other. And that's the first option's not not a not man. It's not that's not a fan favorite for me. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, Dorsey is gonna be in that annihilation match. So ladies and gentlemen, let's point it out here. We have Danielle Moreno, Cornell, Ava Marino. Sarah Fox, Katherine Jackson, and Kayla Dorsey all in the Women's Annihilation match to crown the first ever PXT Intercontinental Champion. But now, ladies and gentlemen, Satoshi now has to make an example of himself by stepping up to the whole mantle by taking on another member of the Brotherhood. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Satoshi. Going one on one. Brotherhood. Now, is it. I was going to say, is it the big fucker? Or is Eden going to come back? Huh. Satoshi being ordered by the War General Mason Dixon to come out here and fucking make an example for both Cassidy and the kid. Because right now, they are falling fucking short. They let go of their tag team titles. Satoshi let go of his TikTok championship. I mean, hell, I don't blame fucking Mason for being pissed off. Because holy shit, it's like you accepted this deal with people finally claiming gold and then immediately lost. Also, we're probably going to do a change with the rematch clause. I will talk more about that a little bit later on. Well, probably after this match. And then I'll explain why we're doing all these changes. <laughs> and now Satoshi looks ready, looks ready to go to take on another member of the Brotherhood. But now the question is, who is it? Is it Abgum? Is it that big fucker? 
Wait, who is that? Oh, who the fuck is this? Wait, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, originally at Operation, it was supposed to be Jake Lawler going one-on-one -on -one against Satoshi Makoto because he was brutally assaulted by both the Kid, Cassidy, and Satoshi because he wanted out of the syndicate. He believed the syndicate was dropping his ass. But Satoshi, being as fearful as he was, decided to attack Lawler backstage of operation to where he didn't have to fight him. But now tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the god of wrestling has returned and is looking to fucking lay claim to Satoshi. But now I also want to point out, <laughs> apparently he's hit the brotherhood. What the fuck? Hit the bitch, people. It's the bit. God damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Jake Lawler making his PXT return here. And now we're seeing what we should have gotten in operation. It's none other than Satoshi Makoto and Jake Lawler. Here it is. Oh shit, it looks like Lawler beefed up a bit. Oh, Satoshi was trying to gain an advantage. Lawler, though, not going to allow it. Lawler, oh, coming in strong, immediately, looking to make Satoshi tap out here, oh my god, gets him in a crossface, but Satoshi, been in fights, immediately comes in strong, oh, but Lawler's not holding anything back either, comes in with elbow shots, oh, big gut shot, now comes in with big series of punches, now Satoshi looking to gain the upper hand on the, well, I can't say former, but the god, the self-proclaimed god of wrestling, Jake Lawler, Lawler coming in to sweep the leg, but no, uses it to get him in a big super kick. And now a big, oh! Jumping knee shot straight to the skull of Satoshi, and now... Elbow straight to the chest. Oh, big running elbow from Satoshi. Both these men used to run toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How they gone to war with each other in the carnage match, to where they picked up a victory against the former... Uh, faction the unholy do not say who was in there but former faction unholy to where hell they fucking practically dragged them out of PXT and now both brothers in arms in war are going against each other it is Lawler and Satoshi and now goes for the pin one no doesn't get it Lawler not getting it and now oh Back to Spy. Oh, was looking to get more done. We're done. But again, Satoshi coming in with a running elbow straight to the face. Oh, was looking to get more damage in a Lawler. Lawler's not going to take it. And Lawler now coming back at it and sweeps the leg of Satoshi. And now Satoshi is down in. Well, not out, but immediately starts getting up. Lawler, though, not going to allow him to capitalize on taking a moment to recover. I don't blame Lawler on that either because Lawler, Lawler has been out of commission ever since Operation because of Satoshi, because of the Syndicate. So this is his time to get some goddamn payback against the man that put him out for weeks, damn months. As we saw, Lawler was back in March. Now he's back here in PXT punishing the former leader of the Syndicate. Here it is, one. Only gets a one count off Satoshi. Satoshi still going off. Uh oh, oh, I was trying to get the advantage. Satoshi though, not gonna have it. Oh, goes for an elbow to the back. Doesn't get it. And oh, Lawler was trying to get him with a drop kick. Doesn't get it either. Lawler, man, both men are not letting the other gain the upper advantage. Oh shit! Yeah, I was. I think that was God Smite right there. I think I believe a new maneuver from him. And oh shit! That was the holy kiss right there. That's what that was. Here it is. One, two. No, Satoshi kicks out. Ball coming out with new tricks in his book right here. Oh shit! Kicks him away. Oh, I was surprised we didn't see the godly law. Lawler 
Molly coming out with a whole new bag of tricks, making sure that Satoshi does not gain up in hand or advantage from what he knows from Waller in the past. He's got, like I said, these guys have gone to whoa! God damn! Big suit, god damn, god damn, did he kill Lawler? Is Lawler dead? Oh my god, I think Lawler's dead, y'all. I generally think Lawler's fucking dead. Oh my god. Stoji bringing up the count and now gets Lawler back into the ring. Lawler trying to get up. Stoji quickly following after, but Lawler catching Satoshi with a big clothesline. Can Lawler capitalize? Can he capitalize on this moment? Sends Satoshi to the ropes. Oh, big sling blade! Needs to get him in the gut, and now comes in with a series of strikes straight to the skull of the former crime boss of PXC. Reason I say former is because right now, let's be honest here. Oh, wait. Inverted DDT! Reason I say former is because right now, he is no longer, right now, as far as we know, he is not the leader of the syndicate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh, I believe he's going for a new crime lock here. Stoji trying to go for a new crime lock. Doesn't get it. Lawler immediately gets out of the hole. That was a Yakuza lock. That's what they believe. That's why I'm being informed it's called the Yakuza lock. Not enough. Oh. They got a little straight to the fucking face of Lawler. No, like I said, this was a match. We should have gotten an operation. But because Satoshi being fearful. Lawler, oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Proceeds to choke the living shit out of Lawler. Holy shit, because Satoshi was too goddamn scared to go one-on-one -on -one with Lawler. He proceeded to tell the Syndicate to injure Lawler out of commission. So then he went on to not only technically become undefeated in operation, but win two matches back-to-back. -back. Oh, another fucking running elbow straight to the face. Lawler now sweeping the leg of Satoshi. Amber sees the kick him straight in the face with series of kicks. Lawler just looking to beat the living shit out of Satoshi. Satoshi, Lawler, holy crap, dude. You can feel the hate in every goddamn kick. You can feel the fucking ferocity in every goddamn punch from both men. Satoshi believed he could trust Lawler in every retrospect when it came to tag teams, and Lawler did not trust him. Oh god, oh, wow, that, well, that was a, I won't lie to you, that was a bit of a shitty way to win. Satoshi picks up a win against Lawler. Satoshi still looks pretty pissed off about it. And now, Bushida gets him into the crime, or the, sorry, the Yakuza lock gets him in it. Go away. Oh, shit. What, what's going on? The lights went out. Oh, the lights are on, and Satoshi standing tall, but all four members of the Brotherhood, Adonis. Adonis, Eden, Abgol, and uh, what is his fucking name? The big guy? Zion? What the fuck type of name is that? Zion. That, that's his name? Zion? Zion, apparently. Toshi is fucking cool. He is fucking cornered, man. Wait, so why is Satoshi smiling? Oh, Mason's music's hitting, ladies and gents. Adonis dropping, ready for Mason to come in. Wait, Mason, Mason on the other side of the ring, drops Eden. Drops Eden, gets him with a heel sacrifice. Oh, I'm cool. Turn over to die, Mason getting out of the way and, oh God. Apcool missing Mason, and now Mason gets him with a hero spearhead! And Zion getting attacked by Satoshi. Satoshi getting. Satoshi just got pushed away. What the fuck? <laughs> Zion going in. Satoshi looks to squirm over the big man. Mason comes in with a low blow from behind, and Zion is down! Uh oh. 
Adonis was standing on the outside and realizes that there's a shot for him to escape, but... Cassidy. Cassidy's coming in. It looks like Adonis is fucking cornered. He is sandwiched. No men up. Everybody is down. Like Adonis saying, fuck it. Adonis going in and proceeds to go straight for Mason, but Satoshi coming in. And now Cassidy coming in. And the numbers game is now just taking advantage of Adonis. And Adonis is now being mugged at this point. Satoshi and Cassidy picking up a beam. Adonis Mason looking to set up. Or he'll spearhead and connects, and Adonis is down. The syndicate standing tall over the Brotherhood. Oh shit, great way to ruin a goddamn debut of the Brotherhood. Holy fuck. Is this the fucking image we're going to be seeing? Annihilation. Mason standing tall over Adonis. Peace out. Take care. You have a great night. And we'll see you guys next week for PXT Annihilation. Peace out. Take care. So we'll keep on